Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Troy White. I'm the Director of Marketing and Membership at the National Center for FBLA PBL. And you are watching the PBL National Officer Team meeting for October. I'll go ahead and turn it over to Donnie Iorio, the National President. Thanks, Troy. I just want to welcome everyone again to our National, Offerings, National Officer Conference call for October. Um, we're so glad that we're able to record these and broadcast them live, and that way you can also review them later on at our YouTube channel um, so you guys can see everything that your national officers are doing um, and you can be more involved in everything that we're doing this year. The first thing we're going to do is just go down the line, officers alphabetically, and give a brief report that uh, kind of so you can see what we're doing. This will go online with the National Officer Monthly Report that's published by Shu and Zhu, our National Secretary, every month. So without further ado, we're going to turn it over to Amber. Hi. Um, so for the past month, I've been working on the Bylaws Assistance Program, and we've been able to be in contact with four different chapters, new chapters, and uh, assisting them with bylaws. Um, and I, as well, have been in contact with the March of Dimes Youth Council, and I've been receiving information about how we can continue to share um, what March of Dimes is doing as November is coming up. So that's basically what I've been working on. Thanks, Amber. All right, now we're going to move on to the Eastern Region. I'm Rutha. Hey guys, so what um, I've been working on is I actually just finalized my people for the Eastern Region Action Council. Um, I've actually just posted it recently, so that's exciting. Um, I've been in contact with various states such as Delaware, um, Pennsylvania, New York, and just helping them out. New York is trying to start up a state board, I know that. So uh, I've, I've spoken with some members of um, New York PBL and also with Puerto Rico so just working on helping them get started up or not started up but get stronger and also with Delaware getting started up and checking up on them as well so just kind of been checking up on everyone to make sure everyone's doing alright great thanks Amrutha mm -hmm. um, now we're gonna move on to Brett Harris our national treasurer Brett can you hear us? Sorry, I had a delayed connection. Um, the past month, basically, I've been working with the Treasurer's Action Council. We established it, had our first meeting, and we've already started working on updating our Trello board with some ideas for prospective sponsors, and I've actually started contacting several companies already, and we're just off to a very good start. Great. Thanks, Brett. Now we're going to move on to Brian in the Western region. Brian? So we've got a lot of stuff going on right now at the re in the Western region. Um, I just got an email from Kyle Curtis. Awesome news. Uh, we've got the University of Washington. We'd like to uh, welcome them to PBL as a new chapter. We also have several other new chapters that are just in the finalizing stage, getting their dues paid and things like that. So a lot of movement there. As for our Region Action Council, I have an open spot yet. That's why I haven't announced anything. So if you're still interested, get in contact with me soon. We'd love to finish filling that. Great. Thanks, Brian. Now we're going to move on to Jessica in the Southern Region. Hi. Um, first, I'd just like to welcome the seven new chapters that we have so far, which is awesome. Um, what I've been working on so far this month is trying to get my Action Council set up. I have two members confirmed. I'm still waiting to hear from um, one person, and then I'll be announcing who those people are soon. And that's pretty much what we've been doing in the Southern Region. Great. Thanks so much. Now we're going to move on to Shu and Zhu, our National Secretary. Hi. So this month um, I have established my council and it's been announced on Facebook and Twitter, and I've had my first call with my council as well. Other than that, I've been working with a couple chapters in Florida just to starting them off, and for the new chapters that have been established, um, just continue that channel of communication, making sure they're doing well during their first couple weeks of being a new chapter. Great, and just to clarify, your action council is the membership action council, right? Yes. Great. Okay, and then next we have Stephanie Boardman from the North Central Region. 
Well, like all the other officers, sorry, I'm kind of a little sick, but we'll get through this. Um, like all the other officers, um, I've been working with my Action Council. Um, I have four individuals that were selected to serve on the North Central Region Action Council, and those were announced on Facebook and Twitter last week, I do believe. So big congratulations to those people. I'm looking for an awesome year working with them. We have already scheduled our first meeting, which will um, be sometime this week, and we're just going to get the ball rolling, get started with that. I'm looking really, really forward to having a great year with them. Um, another awesome thing that's going on here in the North Central regions, we also had um, a few um, reactivated chapters already, which is very exciting, and a lot of other chapters, new chapters that are starting their forms and filling them out and getting that okayed with their school. So it's going to be a great year. Um, great. Thank you very much, Stephanie. All right, and then just a quick brief overview of what I've been doing. At the end of last month, I had the opportunity to go to one of ACBSP, um, one of their conferences. ACBSP is an accreditation council for business schools. So, um, you know, business schools have to be accredited by a higher agency, and that's what ACBSP is. Um, ACBSP has a, had a conference in Asheville, North Carolina, that I was able to attend, and I actually had uh, an exhibit booth the entire conference, but I also had 10 minutes at the podium, and I got to speak about Phi Beta Lambda and why it's so great for business schools to uh, have an organization like Phi Beta Lambda, but then also what we offer that the competition just doesn't. And it went really, really well. We got a lot of good contacts from that conference, and I'm sure that we'll see some, some new chapters emerge because of it. Uh, in addition, this coming week, so Wednesday, I'm going to be going to a March of Dimes conference, the Volunteer Leadership Conference, with uh, Miss Buckley and our FBLA president, Nikita Skanalakopoulos, and we're going to be working with the National Youth Council of the March of Dimes, along with their other national service partners, to see how we can bring March of Dimes back more to our program of work and how we can work more with the mission. I've also been in contact with a lot of schools. Uh, OSU, uh, UNC Chapel Hill, and a couple other schools out there that were getting their programs either started or stronger. And I just think that we're really seeing a great year. So far, we, we have positive uh, numbers based on our numbers from last year, so we're showing growth. It's a little bit too early right now to tell um, if that's going to be the trend for the rest of the year, but we're hopeful, and we're also very positive in the sense that we think that we're going to be able to keep up this trend. Um, with our new communication tools that the officers were talking about, Trello, we're really staying on top of these new chapters that are coming in, and we're keeping that service at a level that no one else can match. So that's really what we've been working on right now. Um, also, uh, now I'm going to go over to one last officer. Peter had technical difficulty, and now he is able to come in. So Peter, are you, um, can you give just a brief report of what you've been doing? Absolutely, you bet. Um, basically working on that as well. I apologize for being late, too. Um, Anyway, what we've been working on as well in Mountain Plains, and we have the regional action councils all set up, ready to go. Um, we, I'll be working with Miranda Bowman, Jessica Doherty, and Morgan um, Mello of um, Oklahoma as well, Oklahoma and Kansas, and we'll be working together to make sure the Mountain Plains region is up and running this year. Uh, other than that as well, I've been working on that judicial letter, and I will have a draft ready for you guys by November 15th, as it says in my fifth of the month report too. So it's kind of brief, but that's what's going on. Great. Thanks, Peter. Yep. Um, Troy, do you have any comments from the National Center? Yeah, I just want to say that the numbers do look really good, Donnie, uh, and all the officers. Um, we're getting a lot of new chapters. I haven't seen this much uh, new activity uh, for years. Uh, so you guys are doing a great job getting the new chapters in, following up on those chapter organization packets. The thing that we need to focus on now are a couple of things. One is retention. Um, get our members uh, to meet that October 20th deadline, which is coming up next weekend, and uh, also NFLC attendance. So um, we've got some great programs planned at Indianapolis, Denver, and Charlotte. So we're looking to forward to seeing a lot of PBL members there. Great. And actually, while we're there, let's talk a little bit about um, let's talk a little bit about some of the points that Troy said. A lot of the chapters out there. So this is more of a um, statement for you, the members. A lot of the chapters out there, you guys have already collected dues, and you have a great chapter going right now. It's just time to make sure that you submit your members' names and due payment to the National Center. It's really easy to do that. Um, it's 
on the national homepage where you can register members. You just need your chapter number and have your advisor go ahead and log in. If you have any questions, you can contact your regional vice president. You can contact me directly, or you can contact a national staff member in the membership department to make sure that you get those membership numbers in. It's really important for us. That way we can make sure that we're having the right number of attendance levels at our national fall leadership conferences as well as supplying the programs that we want to be able to supply you this year. Um, with the NFLCs, it is not too late to register. Um, so even if we passed, I, uh, Troy, I believe we just passed the early um, bird deadline for Indianapolis, right? That's correct. That it was last still, Wednesday, and then this Wednesday will be Denver, and then the following Wednesday will be the early bird for Charlotte. Great. And that's just the early bird. Right. So if you miss the early bird, don't worry about it. Just go ahead and register. We really want to see you at these conferences. We have some excellent speakers flying into these conferences, uh, three different speakers depending on which conference you're at. And we're really excited to be able to present the members with such great speakers, such great um, workshops this year, and some really great network opportunities. What's so fantastic about these conferences is that it makes it economical for the members to be able to go because it is – uh, regionally closer because we have three different conferences as opposed to one national summer conference like we do for the NLC. Uh, so really what we're pushing and vice presidents and also uh, tr also Brett and Amber and Shuin, we really need to push um, that our chapters that are already going strong make sure that we enter um, our membership names and pay dues online that way we can have an accurate number of where we are for the year because we're doing great with those new chapters. It's just our current chapters. So, Great. And then also, in other news, um, officers and members, keep on the lookout this week because we are going to have a fantastic video about our national officers, um, kind of an introduction going along with our theme this year, Igniting Innovation, Getting You Excited for the National Fall Leadership Conference, going in with our, our general theme. Um, May success be in your future. So uh, with that, just let want to pull up our program of work really quick, Troy, just so we can go through a brief overview and see where we are on that. And then uh, we'll have some open discussion between the officers, if any, and we'll end the call. So great. So right now we have that program of work up. And let's go to goal one, customer service, to increase and retain membership. We just talked about this. Um, and we are doing a fantastic job with new chapters. What we need to focus on is that recruitment because we need to re um, retain 87.5% uh, of the chapters that we have, and that's 440 chapters. So new chapters are wonderful, but um, the powerhouse in our organization and our most important asset is, uh, is our current members and our current chapters. So we want to make sure that we are doing everything we can for those chapters. Um, extensive communication. I think that... Um, well, we can talk about them individually. With the social media, uh, we have definitely been on top of social media this year and being able to put out uh, word about our webinar Wednesdays, which have been great attendance. Um, they've also been published to so social media, our National Officer Conference calls. That's doing great. Um, Brett and Schoen, can you talk a little bit about um, just the status of LinkedIn? Brett or Schoen? Are you there? Okay. All right. Sorry. Um, go ahead, Brett. Go ahead, Shu, and you can go first. All right. Sounds good. So LinkedIn, um, both of us have been remaining very active, and I think one of the most active threat on LinkedIn is definitely the one about um, if you're willing to accept connections from FBLA members and go ahead and comment on this. I constantly re receive email reminders and email updates from that thread. So very proud of our members for keeping in touch and forming the network. And I completely agree with Shuin on what she already said. Um, something else that's really neat about what we have going with LinkedIn is that several of our members have been posting questions, asking for advice on their chapters and membership and other ideas like that. And it's just great to see that not only is it just not only is it the national officer team members responding to these posts, but it's also the membership as well. So it's just great to see everyone being active on the page, and even it's just really a great experience overall. And I think we're starting to develop a larger following and have the group become more active. 
Great, that's fantastic. All right, next thing we're moving on to is the National Officer Hotline. Um, and so I know that we've gotten some calls on it because I have been testing it once in a while and it does work and I've had an officer answer every time. But in addition, oh, hold on, I just made a phone call. Oh, it looks like it's Shuin who just answered the National Officer Hotline. It does work. Um, we have had lots and lots of uh, input from uh, I'm sorry, we've had lots and lots of calls from members, you know, asking questions about how they can increase membership attendance, how they can increase um, general membership, but then also they just want to talk to a national officer and see how we feel about our organization. And we would love for you to participate and um, definitely push to your members um, the national officer hotline, and it's a great way to get in contact with a national officer immediately. I'll be sending out a national president's blast tomorrow, and we'll actually have um, some information about the National Officer Hotline. So we're going to move on to the next item on our program of work. And that is the email blast. Um, and like I said, my next one will be going out tomorrow. Vice President should be having one go out at the end of this month. So keep a lookout for that. And you can sign up for our um, blast on our individual Facebook pages. So PBL National President, you can sign up for my blast and then the different regions. So uh, PBL Southern Region, Eastern Mountain Plains, Western, um, North Central, you can sign up for the blast on the Facebook pages. And then once again, January 1st, we're really going to have a really detailed analysis of everything we've been doing um, with social media to see if it's effective and paying off. And then with accountability, um, the officers have, we, we guys, we've been doing a good job using Trello. I'd like to see us using Yammer a little bit more, and I'm um, guilty of that as well. But everything we do, I really want to see it on Yammer um, regarding PBL. It's just a sentence, and it really does make reporting uh, a lot different. And it makes it easier for the National Center to see what we're doing, as well as um, not just you know Troy and Lisa, but also Miss Buckley um, is able to see what we're doing on that too. And she really does like seeing the interactivity. So that's wonderful. So let's move on to the next goal, and that goal is relationship. And um, Amber, you already talked a little bit about your relationship with the team youth, um, the National Youth Council at the March of Dimes. And um, I'm excited for this conference next week, and then immediately after, you and I can talk and make sure that our team is implementing all the strategies that the National Youth Council set up, and that we can make sure that everything's going great with, uh, with our partnership with the March of Dimes, especially because this is their 75th anniversary this year. Um, and then also, um, as always, we're still working on our intervision relationships, working with PBL, um, making sure that we're talking to FBLA, middle level, and professional division. The, I would say that the biggest exhibit of this will definitely be at our National Fall Leadership Conference when we integrate the national officer teams, and we're holding um, programs in conjunction with one another. Moving on to goal number three, which is resources, action councils. I, you all have heard uh, what every vice president or officer is doing with their action council, and that's great. And then finally, moving on to goal number four, image and awareness. Um, and I have been communicating with the Department of Education, um, just kind of sending them, I sent them an email last month, and I'll be sending them an email this month, kind of just where we're at as uh, other information. And then, uh, like Peter said, he's going to have that uh, government letter out to us by November 15th. Uh, so thank you very much, Peter. And uh, with that, I just kind of want to open it back up to the officers. If there's any questions you have, anything you'd like to address to the other officers, um, before we talk about our last thing, and that will be our um, workshop that we'll be holding at the National Fall Leadership Conferences in Indianapolis, Denver, and Charlotte. So if you have anything that you'd like to say or ask, go ahead and take yourself off mute and do so now. Going once, going twice. Wonderful. All right. So the last thing we need to talk about um, and just kind of get in the back of your heads is that we will be presenting workshops at the National Fall Leadership Conferences which are just around the corner. I can't believe how close they are. Um, they are next month, and we are already halfway through this month. So it's amazing to it's amazing to see how fast the semester, how fast time's flown. But we'll be giving um, uh, the officers. We're going to be meeting in our group. So actually, who's going to the uh, the Indianapolis NFLC? Go ahead and speak up and say hi. I will be there. 
Yay. I'll be there too. And who's the third officer going to Indianapolis? It's only the two of us. Oh, well, you guys will have fun um, and represent PBL very well. Um, Denver, who's heading over to Denver? Denver for the win. That would be us. All right, so we have we have Brian from Western, Peter from Mountain Plains, and Amber, um, also from the Mountain Plains region, um, going to Denver. That's awesome. And then um, we definitely saved the best for last. Who's going to Charlotte? <laughs> Okay, I, I was kidding about best for last, but we have um, we have our Ruth Shuin, Brett, and myself going to Charlotte. And we're gonna have so much fun at all these conferences, but we're gonna be giving workshops on uh, the CMAP awards and how you can really integrate those with how we our members can integrate integrate those with their chapters um, to increase membership and increase interactivity. So keep a, a lookout from myself, Miss Smothers, within the next week about that um, because we're gonna want to meet and our clusters, and also make sure that our curriculum is the same against um, all three conferences. Um, we really want CMAPs to take off like the BAAs did in FBLA last year, because they really they make our membership even more valuable. So we, we definitely want to push those CMAP awards. Wonderful. All right, Troy. Well, unless there's anything else from an officer, I think that's all we have for this conference call. Thanks for, um, thanks for taking time away from your Sunday to talk um, with us so we could you know, address our membership. Okay, thanks, Donnie.